A force is a push or a pull. So any time that you're pushing or pulling on something, you're applying a force. Spring scales are what we use to measure the amount of force being used to pull an object. Forces can change the position and motion of an object. Changing an object's position means changing its location, just moving it from one place to another. Changing an object's motion means causing it to speed up, slow down, or change direction. As the apple falls, the force of gravity is causing the apple to speed up. The force of friction is causing this girl on the skateboard to slow down. And the forces acting on this car are allowing it to change direction. Forces can work together or forces can work against each other. Pushing or pulling in the same direction makes things easier to move. But pushing or pulling in the opposite directions makes things harder to move. When forces push or pull from different angles, they work together to affect the position and motion of the object. So you can see here that there's a weight with two red strings attached. When those red strings get pulled directly to the north and to the east, that causes the weight to move at an angle. It moves in the diagonal direction. That's because those forces are working together and they combine. So instead of going straight to the north or straight to the east, it goes to the northeast. They work together to move the object. When objects slide past each other, they push on each other, causing friction. Friction is what makes things slow down until they stop. Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards the Earth. Every object on the Earth is being pulled on by the Earth's gravity. Gravity is always pulling on objects, but other forces can balance gravity out. So gravity is pulling down on the block, but water is pushing up on the block. So the block is floating on the surface of the water. That's not because gravity isn't working, it's because water is pushing back. The same thing with the apple. Gravity is pulling down on the apple, but the table is pushing up on the apple. So those two forces balance each other out, and the apple is just sitting still on the table. Magnetism is another force, and magnets can pull on certain materials with the force of magnetism. But only certain metals like iron and steel are attracted to magnets. The poles of a magnet are where it is pulling the strongest. Magnets have a north pole and a south pole. The same poles of two magnets will repel each other. So if I put two south poles together, those will repel and push away from each other. Or if I put two north poles together, those will repel and push away from each other. But the opposite poles will be attracted to each other. So if I put a north and a south pole together, they will be attracted to each other and they'll stick together. I hope this video has helped you understand some basic facts about forces. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.